Good morning, folks. We have several fascinating topics to hit today. Earth just got very lucky, again. The weird thing making homes explode, science on cold events and what we can expect in the future. And we are starting with our star. After the northern filament eruption yesterday morning, the sun has been relatively quiet. Solar flaring remains at low levels. Solar wind is slightly enhanced due to a coronal hole stream, but not to scary levels. And geomagnetic conditions are equally moderate. But something in the data streams caught our eye, and the eyes of NASA solar science specialists, and upon closer review, we are all very lucky to be online and having electricity at the moment. The story begins with the GOES proton flux, which we showed yesterday hitting storm levels due to a far side CME, one that affected the Earth despite not being directly aimed at us. Yesterday, we had said it would wane away, but that didn't happen, and that's an indication that something tremendous did happen. The CME that left the sun two days ago, going exactly away from the Earth, and which produced a full halo CME on SOHO coronagraphs, has been clocked at over 3,000 kilometers per second. That is a Carrington level event. Super flare power. If that had been aimed at us, we would already be suffering powerful geomagnetic storms and possibly a grid down scenario. We'll never know the flare rating of the far side event because our satellites can't see the opposite side of the sun, but suffice to say, a deep breath or prayer of thanks is warranted at this time. Hopefully it quiets down as the sunspots turn in to face Earth in the coming days, but right now we're heading to the crust where we had a 6.3 earthquake in Papua. Luckily it was a blot echo more than 200 kilometers deep, so surface damage was minimalized. A terrifying story out of the Weather Channel on how extreme snow pile up on gas meters has already caused multiple home explosions in South Dakota. I've never heard of this before, but I'm certainly going to remember it next time it snows big here in Colorado. Clean off those meters. Up next, while they tell us all the time about warming events and ice melting, it was a record-breaking snowstorm that caused a complete mating failure in seabirds in Antarctica. Their usual location and time of year for this critical meet was decimated by a record-breaking blizzard. Hashtag global warming. And speaking of which, folks, a big story came out yesterday suggesting that Arctic warming is going to be far worse than models say, meaning the melting ice is going to be a major thing in the years ahead. One of their colleagues emailed me the story details a few hours before it was released, which is why we switched up the topic for episode 2 of our Climate is a Joke series. We began with the 1500 year cycle in episode 1, but episode 2 was going to be about Earth's magnetic field. Instead, we made it about what happens if they are right, if too much ice melts at the polar region. And here's a hint, it's not what they warn us about on the news. Watch those videos if you've missed them. Folks, we still have some tickets to Buffalo and San Diego available. The tour starts this weekend in San Jose, and we look forward to seeing you all out there. For those who signed up for our e-magazine, first issue comes out tomorrow. We've got a lot of key items included, and the goal is to run down the previous month so you don't have to remember every last thing we talk about every day. We greatly appreciate your support. Links to event tickets, the e-magazine, our new store, and much more are found below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.